we need to go to Delft. I am Adi and this is Amira and we are Let's Meet Abroad. We live in the Netherlands and in this video we'll take you to Delft, a beautiful city in the Netherlands and we'll show you why it's worth a visit. So after riding our bikes all the way from The Hague to Delft, by all the way it doesn't mean that it's so far, it's just like 7 or 8 kilometers so that was a half an hour bike ride, we reached to Delft and we are staying in the student hotel. And there's a lot more story to tell about this place, but first we're gonna just leave our bags in the hotel and go out and explore Delft. So let's go. So where are we going now? I'm already seeing a church. I'm not sure if it's the old or the new one, but we will see. Yeah, Mira tells that there is apparently there's a really famous church here, and we will talk about that further in the video. In my back you see the second largest church of the Netherlands, it's called the New Church and if you are in Delft you know this church, it's like the church where Delft is well known for. And an interesting fact, the whole Royal Dutch family is buried here. And you also see in my back Hugo Grootjes, we Dutchies know them as Hugo de Groot and he's also called father of international law. He was a really smart guy, he was already born in 1583 so it was a long time ago. But yeah, he was really smart and contributed a lot to the law we all know now. All right guys, so that was a bit of a history lesson for me and I feel that I have a lot to learn about the Netherlands. But yeah, I mean these churches, like I've never seen a church this tall in my entire life. I've seen a few in South America, but this is huge. And so where are we going next? Yeah, I want to show you guys uh, something about Vermeer, Johannes Vermeer. I think, now nah, the Dutchies, they know him and I think international is well known. I have no clue. Yeah, it's like a really famous painter. Like if you see his paintings, you will recognize okay. them. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, of course the museum is closed, but I'm, yeah, we just walk there. Maybe we should can show you guys something. All right guys, so I'm already looking for a shop where I can buy the plate, which I broke this morning, but I couldn't really find anything and all the shops are closed. So it's gonna be tricky. <laughs> Unfortunately, the museum is closed, but we have this information board here so we can still read and learn something about Vermeer. And I just read that he is baptized in this church where we just went. And he was also kind of a lazy painter because I just painted like 40 and 50 paintings. And like most famous painters, they have like so many paintings. But his paintings were really expensive because he used like lots of expensive materials. And I will, Adi, I will show you now one famous painting of him. I'm sure you know it. Wait. Uh, where is it? Here. This one? No. Yeah, this one you also know. Yeah. The milkmaid. You know this one? Yeah. Yeah, and the, the other one I think is most famous is... I cannot find it. The girl with the pearl. Yeah, here. Here? No, this is not the girl <laughs> with the pearl. Why is the girl with the pearl up here? I think it was on that one. Okay, let's go back. Shit, there it is. This oh, is, that like, one. This is his most famous one. So next to the old church, we found this little alley and it's called Museum Prinsen of Delft. And let's see where it takes us. It, oh, oh. I don't exactly know what it is, but oh. it looks pretty good. And the best part about visiting Delft right now is that it's almost spring and there's not many tourists around because Mira was telling me that in summer it's packed with tourists. Yeah. So I think that's with every place where we go right now. Oh wow, oh, look you at see, these pillars. Remember right? the plate which is really precious to me? You know, they have this, this same kind of blue painting. I really I love it. Yeah, I remember that plate. Yeah. yeah, guys, I'm still trying to figure out where to find that plate, but most of the places are closed. Um, I hope that I find it by end of this video. But you might be wondering what's all this fuss about this blue plate. It's called Delft's Blau or Delft's Blue. And what's the story behind it? Let's take you back in the 17th century when the Dutch traded a lot with China. And they brought back black tea and this overpriced Chinese porcelain that only the richest in society could afford. 
But for drinking tea, the local people didn't have any specific utensils. So the Dutch began making teapots and cups themselves, in the style of Chinese porcelain. And to make this pottery more affordable, they painted the pieces with black paint that when fired turns into shades of blue. And it became hugely popular and was given the name as Delft's Blau. And if you visit Delft now, you would find these potteries in most of the souvenir shops. All right guys, so just came out of the shop and I got something for me, right? It's a really small thing, but it's like so cute and I just love this so much, but I can't show you guys now. Watch until the end of the video to just see what I gifted to Mira. So I just got the best ice cream ever. It's like dark chocolate, a Snickers. And we got it from Luciano's. I really would recommend this ice cream shop. And we're eating it on this square. And as you can see, we're not only mom was thinking to sit here and enjoy something in the sun. It's uh, pretty crowded here. All right guys, so we are finally done with our ice cream. And now we're going back to the hotel where we're staying because we haven't really checked out the room properly. So let's go there. So first of all, we need to say something about this view. Like, it's amazing. You see the complete city center of Delft. You see the old church, the new church, like all the places where we just went, you just see from here, from up. So this is another thing we saw, like they wrote a little card for us and they put some chocolate and it's just a small gesture, but it makes such a difference if an hotel is doing this. Like it feels so welcoming if they just write your name. If you think, oh, they know our name, you know, it's so, it feels like home straight away. Okay, but Adi, I'm serious hungry now. And I just saw this menu card there. Let's get some pizza. The pizza is served and it looks amazing. And we have some little salad with burrata. I love burrata. And it's all served on a plate. That's really cool. So yeah, of course you have to eat it in your hotel room. But with this view, with the sun going down, nah, it's, it's almost better than eating in a restaurant. And we got some uh, Italian soda. And this one is just like lemonade. And we have another one. This is this one. And this is like the Italian uh, Coca-Cola. So yeah. Let's see how that tastes. Fun fact, they gave scissors to cut the pizza because like it's in, like there are many students staying here and they have scissors in the room. So if they order pizza, they can just cut it with a scissor. Alright guys, so it is early morning and we're going to order some breakfast. And meanwhile we're waiting for the breakfast, we'll give you a little tour of this hotel. So you might be wondering, why is this called the student hotel? Now, the reason for that is really simple. Besides it's a hotel, it's also a student housing. So they're staying like 200 students here, maybe a bit more. And in the summer when all the students are at home, they use the student housing rooms for hotels. So the hotel is, or the building is filled all year round. Student hotel is all decorated in a circular way. So there are many definitions of circular, but they made their own definition. And according to that definition, they they build everything and, and they get the furniture to decorate the hotel. For example, they also have that wall over there in my back and it was all made from a recycled plastic. And the flooring is really interesting. The flooring, they went to the, to, to the company, so hey, we want a floor. And they asked him like, what kind of floor do you have left over and can we use that floor? So they turned up to have a great floor, which looks really good. <laughs> Alright guys, so our day started with some amazing breakfast 
But the thing was that we were taking so many photos and because we took so long that everything got cold but still it was so delicious but it was worth it because the photos that turned out to be really good so if you guys are following us on instagram then you can see those photos and today we are going to explore a special place in Delft. all right guys so after breakfast we ended up in this local market we came this morning here because yesterday was so packed so we came this morning to take some photos but then we realized that there's a big market here so we were like we'll probably go here after breakfast to get some dessert we decided to go to this bakery and ask if they have something typical what is from delft because we have no clue but maybe they have something like uh, i don't know a typical delft pastry we will see something and unfortunately they didn't have any typical delfts but they did have something typical from their bakery bakkerij stoepje so it looks like yeah oh it's it's a bit uh, soft it's this and it's typical for the bakery so yeah it looks a bit uh, what's it called i don't know is it salty or sweet i don't know should i try yeah mm, it's like a butter okay so salty square no, 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 no. It's sweet. Oh, yeah. No, it's really lots of butter. Ooh. Oh, and I got something else. Adi didn't try this yet, but it's typical Dutch. And like, if you um, if you go to your grandma or grandfather in the Netherlands, you will always try to uh, get these things. At least I got it always. And it's this. A merkpijpje. And it's like, uh, yeah, there's some chocolate on the outside. It's from marzipan as well. And the inside there's some uh, filling. So now it's Adi's turn to try the merkpijpje. Yeah, it looks really sweet, so let's see. It is, it is dark. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's also jam inside this. It's really sweet. Like if I have to give a sweet, if I have to give a sugar rating, I'll give it 10 out of 10. But it's also really delicious because there's all different flavors in this. Yeah, loved it. Can be really cool with a coffee. Alright guys, so after having some amazing Dutch snacks, we are going to TU Delft. So that's one of the famous universities of the Netherlands and which is of course located in Delft. And we're going there with bikes, so we'll be renting those bikes from the hotel where we're staying. I think we found the main building from TU Delft, it's in my bag and maybe many of you who are watching this video are considering to study in Delft and for all of these people I would say I think Delft is the perfect town to do your studies. It's, it's really small so it won't take you that long to know how to get around and it's a really central place in the Netherlands as well. So from Delft it's really easy to get to, to Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Utrecht, Den Haag, uh, it, yeah. Alright guys, so fun fact about TU Delft, after my undergrad I, was, I actually applied for TU Delft and I got in for mechanical engineering but I didn't choose to move to Europe because it was too cold and instead I chose to move to Australia because I also got a better university but imagine if I got into TU Delft then I don't know if <laughs> Mira would, would be here. Then I would never know it's Mira. So, it's so funny. Like my life would have been so much better. Yeah, because you choose Australia, you ended up, yeah, living really close to Delft. <laughs> yeah, just escape the cold. I was like, no, nah, man, I'm not going to Netherlands. It's no, so cold. It's so I'll go to Australia. It's such a chill <laughs> life because I already always had imagined like beaches of Australia. So and then ended up yeah. here. So. Yeah. We decided to eat here again and we'll probably have pasta tonight but I'm not sure but yeah the Italian food in this restaurant in this place it's amazing and I have heard that the pasta what they make is from scratch So 
everybody, dinner is served. And look at this, oh, the pizza looks super good again. And tonight we also got pasta and it's made with tagliatelle and I think wild mushrooms. And on top he put some parmesan and oh, the smell. You're gonna put the plate, I'm scared that you might drop it. Oh. But oh, the smell guys, it's, it's a pity that you cannot smell this, but it's amazing. I cannot wait to eat it. All right guys, so finally done with the day and I am super exhausted. So, I mean, after the delicious pasta, I just wanted to say a couple of things about Delft. Like I didn't expect it to be this cute. Like this city, it's small, but it's just so pretty. And yeah, people are nice. That's all over the Netherlands, but it's just so pretty. And all the churches we went, they have like so many deep stories and everything. And this place where we're staying yeah it's it's awesome it's yeah the the student hotel the hospitality of this hotel is just great. crazy and yeah the view from the rooms it's awesome the location it's next to central station and uh, like next to the city center so it's really convenient the location the food is awesome so that was it for the video guys and thank you so much everybody for watching you enjoyed and this little strofafel yeah and we hope that you enjoyed watching this video as well and we'll see you guys in the next video Good night. Bye. Yeah, I think she's gonna love it. Mm -hmm.